Hello, my name is Johnny Guitar from Full Sail University Online in the history of motion picture arts. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the evolution of the motion picture camera. The first person to capture movement and reproduce that into motion on film was Edward Mybridge in 1878. At the time, the ex-governor of California, Leland Stanford, wanted to know whether a horse's four hooves left the ground all at the same time while galloping. Mr. Mybridge set up 12 cameras with trip wires connected to their shutters capturing the horse's movement as it galloped along its path, which ended up proving that at one point all the horse's hooves did indeed leave the ground all at the same time. In 1888, Thomas Edison decided to design machines for making and showing moving pictures with his assistant, William Dixon. And by 1890, Edison and Dixon had their kinetoscope camera, which used celluloid film. The problem with the kinetoscope was that only one person could view the film through a peephole. In 1893, Edison and Dixon built their first studio. They called it the Black Maria in New Jersey. And the kinetoscope was used to film their first motion picture called Monkey Shines Number 1. By 1894, the Lemire family was the biggest manufacturer of photographic plates in Europe. The Lemire brothers, Louis and Auguste Lemire, designed a camera that served as a recording device and a projector. They called this device the Cinemagraph. The Cinemagraph used a sewing machine motor and it had flexible film cut into 35 millimeter wide strips the biggest difference between the Lemire family and the Edison's camera was that the Lemire family shot their film at 16 frames per second, as the Edison shot theirs at 46 frames per second. Now the 16 frames per second would become industry standard for about 25 years. One of the biggest things the Lemire brothers were known for were filming at train stations, and they managed to capture some of the first shots with the camera in motion producing that same effect that Dolly is produced today. Now audiences were craving more and storytelling became a big deal for film in the early 1900s with the silent film era. It wasn't until the 1920s when talkies took over the industry with sound on film and its first feature length film, The Jazz Singer. Now in the early 1900s uh, color was used in film, um, but it had to be stenciled in. It wasn't until 1930s, around 1935, that an entire feature film called Becky Sharp was filmed using three-strip Technicolor process. Color film was expensive and took a while to become more popular. But as more audience and more people saw color film, it became more and more popular. In the 1950s, television started finding its place in homes and would cause the film industry to find creative ways to keep the audience coming back to the theaters. By the late 1990s, digital cinema took over and soon motion pictures turned into stunning masterpieces with today's high definition. And that will conclude today's lesson in motion pictures. Once again, I'm Johnny Guitar. Thanks for watching.